What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. So um, I'm just carrying on from last time and um, I'm just going to show you how to export some of these coordinates out at these known changes as in east, as in point ID, east in northern and height. So AutoCAD LT makes it really quite difficult to export points but there is a way of doing it and um, to do it you got to make a block with attributes and then export them attributes to an Excel sheet and then we can go from the Excel sheet to the total station and to do that we just got to insert a block so I've made made a block here I'll insert it here, let's call it eg point ok and um, I'll just make it a bit bigger scale just so you can see it so this is the point here and um, and it works because the top left hand corner is where the east and northern is so as you can see it matches up with the top left hand corner and if you want to change the name of the, of the point you can just call it new point for example and you can also add height information so when you come to export it it'll just be point, point name which is this new point east in northern and height and you can just put this anywhere I'm drawing and it'll work so um, all you do is just copy it from the top left hand corner and you can just put it anywhere you want so if you want one on the center lines here just put on center lines and you just name it road 5 chain age 5 and so on and road 5 chain age 10 and so on and you just name it and it just export it you might notice these coordinates are the same but all you need to do is just regen it all regen all and it automatically updates them but I think there's a quicker way it's the same way we did um, we did the offsets and it's just to array it down so to do this I'll just copy this one over here put that there make it a bit smaller just so it's easier neater to make it about that big and I'll uh, call this since it's road 5 I'll call it road Five chainage zero left. So this would be for curb line, really. So I'll just copy that over. So the so left hand side would be over here at this point here. I'll just copy this one over. Make it a touch smaller actually. make it that big or if I've changed left so I'll copy that one over copy copy it from the corner point just make sure I've got it snapped on yep end point copy it over to there and because these two have the same name I just put a, a full stop just to know where the profile point is and um, and where the face of curve is Call the height zero for now. So I'll copy these ones over to the other side. Put one there. I'll put one there. So this is the right hand side of the road. So I'll call that right. Full stop. So we know it's the profile. And just right. So we know it's the curb line. Okay. And, uh, and then we just array these down so it's just array path select objects so it's one two three four right click select path which is the cell line we made want them every five meters and to close array as you can see it it's done it every five meters for us so we just want to check where it's looking okay 
Yep, it's gone to the right line. Looks right there. Let's check out another random point. That one's looking right there. And that one's looking right there. And just regen all to update the coordinates. Better explode these out actually. Explode and regen all again, and yeah, that's done it there. So I'll just check the coordinates of these. ID, check this one, looks a bit easier. ID, and yeah, they match up. So we just need two at the very end of the road now. So copy that point over. One for the profile, one for curb line. One for curb line, one for profile. So that was the right hand side of the road, change that to right. So since it's endpoint, I should go road five, endpoint, right. Full stop. Road five. Endpoint. Right. Road five. Endpoint. Left. Road five. Endpoint. Left. Full stop. Okay, now it's just a matter of just going along, renaming these, and that because I have five meters, we know that's change zero, so I'll just rename this to change five, and so on. So I'll just quickly rename these, and I'll uh, pick up afterwards. Change five. Okay, so um, now I've just got more names, so change 5, change 10, change 5, change 10, and so on. So I'm just going to do the same again for this road going around here, and then the same again for this road go up here. So I'll just show you, show you quickly how I'll do it for a second time. So I'll just copy one of these over, for example. As soon as we move on to road 6, I'll just change the name of it. So I'll put one there, put one there, put one there. Put one there. Come on, name. So this will be the left hand side of the road, and it's road six. So it's road six, chained zero, left hand side. And I'll put um, a full stop for the profile. So road six, chained zero. Or left hand side for curb line. Move to right hand side. Road six. Change zero. Right hand side. Yep. Road six. Change zero. Right hand side. Full stop for the profile. I'll just make these a different color just so they stand out a bit better. I'll make them uh, just make them green. So come on, make them green. Properties. Hmm, can't seem to make them green. I'll try a new layer. Um, points to spawn. Over the right 
there. Let's say it's pipe to export. Oh, yeah, different colors just so we stand out a bit. But it's just array again. Array, path, select all of them. One, two, three, four. Right click, select distance between them every five meters. Okay. Explode it out. Oh, explode. And um, just check a few random points, make sure it's looking right. Yep, looks like it's bang on there. Looks like it's working out there. Check around here. Yep, looks like it's working out there. Out there. And um, I'd usually just do away with this last change point and just go to the end point of the road. Because it's so close, so I just usually just delete these off and just go to the end point, which would be to the end of this blue line, which would be there and there. So um, I'll just go along again and name these, and I'll speed the video up so you don't have to see. Okay, so um, back again. So now I've got all these um, named. I'm just going to finish off road six quickly. So I'm, I'll make a new layer just so it's a different different color. So a new layer, road 6th. Points to export. Make that one sign. 